What's the haps? I'm Oroka, and today I'm going to give you my professional gaming opinion on Coffee Talk. Coffee Talk is a pixel art anime styled visual novel where your primary method of engaging with the characters is by making them drinks. Is anyone else getting deja vu? The developers, Toge Productions, are not very forthcoming about their inspirations, but it should be pretty plain to see that they're drawing very heavily on Valhalla. It's exactly the same core gameplay loop as Valhalla, but it has a different energy about it. It's modern day fantasy versus science fiction. It's a chilled out late night cafe with lo-fi jazzy music versus a booze fueled futuristic dystopia with talking dogs. It's a self-insert faceless protagonist versus Jill, who is a fully fledged character in the story in her own right. In Coffee Talk, you run a cafe called, well, Coffee Talk. I feel like that works better as the title of a game than a cafe, but I suppose they were trying to draw on the eponymous thing that Valhalla did before it. Coffee Talk takes place in the current day, but in an alternate world populated by fantasy creatures. Your cafe is frequented by elves, demons, vampires, werewolves, mermaids, and more. If you know Valhalla, you know what to expect from here on out. You'll chat with them, occasionally they'll order drinks, and then what you make can influence how they react to you, or even change the course of the story. Sometimes, but we'll get to that. Unlike in Valhalla, you have no objectives, no financial targets you need to hit. This is lampshaded in the very first day when the characters allude to the fact that you're independently wealthy and just in it for the funsies, really. This lack of pressure feeds into the more chilled out vibe that they're going for, and allows you to just enjoy the characters' stories without also feeling like you need to do a good job or you'll lose the game. But it also means messing up doesn't have any real repercussions most of the time. Whoops, I made a green tea instead of an espresso. Oh well, shrug our worryingly undiscerning patrons. It's not what I wanted, but it's an easy mistake, anyone could have made it. I think I can count only two specific occasions when the drink you serve has a material impact. No spoilers, but one is patiently workshopped out with you over the course of three visits in the form of developing a recipe with a very obvious NOW! This is the time that you need that recipe moment in the story. The second occasion is heralded by a conversation about how sometimes what a customer wants is not what they need and then is immediately followed up quite unsubtly by a customer who very obviously needs something other than what they are demanding. This, this is your moment to shine, the game tells you. And unless you already discovered it by accident, you won't actually already know the recipe you need, which makes for the only moment of any real pressure in the game. At this point, I genuinely do want to replay it just to find out what intentionally screwing it up would achieve. Although I may well end up replaying it in its entirety too, because the epilogue strongly implies that there are opportunities to alter the course of the story on a second playthrough. For all that, it pretty much just falls into the groove of being an overglorified kinetic novel, which is to say a visual novel without even the affordance of any choice. It's still a very enjoyable romp. There's a lot of really nice attention to detail in the characters and world. Every single character has their phone out on the table all the time, and characters not actively involved in the conversations periodically check their notifications or idly scroll through their social media. The two visually older characters both have flip phones, rather than the smartphones everyone else has, although perhaps they missed a trick in not having the races which live for hundreds of years being the old-fashioned ones. A lot of the drinks you can discover have real-world counterparts, so for a drinks nerd like me, it's a fun ride learning about all the different ways tea and coffee are served around the world. There's even a green mint tea which I literally have a bag of in my cupboard, and which I was stunned to learn is an actual real style of drink from Morocco, and not just a tasty novelty I bought because I thought it tasted good. When you serve up your drinks, you have the option to doodle some latte art on the top of it before you hand it to the customer, something I have absolutely zero talent for, and also something which has absolutely zero impact on anything in any way, shape or form at all, but which is a fun little toy to add to your chill. Even in the background, through the cafe windows, you can see the world outside going by, and it is perpetually raining. You could chalk it up to laziness and not wanting to design more than one type of weather, but I'm going to suggest it's just a gentle jab at the Seattle climate. The narrative does touch on a few heavier topics, brushing up against issues of racism, immigration, and exploitative games industry practices, amongst others, but it never delves heavily into them or takes a particularly noteworthy stance on them. Now, whether this is for fear of alienating parts of the audience, especially the rah 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 I don't want politics in my video games type of crowd, or just because it might have detracted from the chill conversational vibe, is unclear, but I for one would actually have liked to have seen it tackle the issues in a bit of a bolder way. It's a more bite-sized experience than Valhalla was. I finished the whole thing in about six and a half hours, and that is with a lot of faffing about discovering recipes and replaying bits to see if anything changed, but as it's a visual novel, a lot will depend on your reading speed too. 
All in all, Coffee Talk is just a really comfy gaming experience. The relaxing soundtrack sets the tone to just chat to people and get to know them, relate to them, and share their experiences, because even if they're a mermaid, you probably have more in common than you think. Coffee Talk will be launching on PC and Switch tomorrow, and then on PS4 and Xbox One on the 30th, with a retail price of $13. It is my professional gaming opinion that if, like me, you like a lovely slice of story to go with your coffee, then this is a game you should take a look at.